There is no such thing as an original idea. Every time you run into a creative rut and you don't know what to do next, come back to this video, try one of these tips and see if any of these work for you. Instead of relying for inspiration to strike, set up a system that generates endless ideas for yourself. Now the first way of generating ideas is to get the obvious solutions out of your head. So what I would do is if I have paper, I will just sketch it on the paper or on Figma, I will just like do wireframes of all these ideas that are obvious to me. So that way I actually get the obvious ideas out of my mind and make space for innovative thinking. So next up is competitor research. If the product is an app, I will look on App Store reviews, Google Play Store reviews, look on user feedback online, whether it's uh, Facebook or their social media. I will look at the good reviews to understand what people like about this product. As for the bad reviews, I will still look at them because I don't want to make the same mistakes that this competitor has done. This is a good way to get real user feedback. Another way I would do is I would just go on Google search for images and I would just key in the product's name and see what pops up and just dive deeper into understanding the product more. Sometimes I would also do a quick search on YouTube to find out if there's any other screen recordings or people using the product and what they think about it. To remember everything that I research, I will document them on Notion. Another idea generation technique that I found is called blue sky thinking. Blue sky thinking refers to brainstorming with no limits. So what I will do is I will just ask myself, what if? What if there are no constraints? What if there is no technical difficulties? What if there is no judgement? What if there is no consequences? So with blue sky thinking, we are able to get ourselves out of this little bubble that we've been confined in for so long and just go where my imagination takes me. You'll have plenty of time to evaluate your ideas for later, but for now, imagine what's possible and work from there. And the next thing I will do is to gather inspiration. For apps, I will go to mobbin.design. If I run out of ideas, I will still go to screenlane.io or Dribble or Pinterest. So I don't recommend going to Dribble too often because those designs are unrealistic. So try to find real app inspirations to get your ideas from. And for websites, I will use lapa.ninja if it's a landing page. Behance is also a good place for you to source for inspiration for your app or website designs. Another technique I would use is called negative brainstorming and I would like to credit Miro for this brainstorming technique. Negative brainstorming is to think in reverse. So try to think about the bad solutions to the problem that you're trying to solve and work backwards from turning the bad solutions into a good solution. So for example, if you want to make the checkout experience for an e-commerce app smoother, well, the bad solution to that would be make the CTA button triangle shape and hide the promo code section for the users so that they don't find it. Well, in this case, when you have the bad solution to the problem, you will work backwards and say that, okay, this is the thing that you don't want to do. So that's one of the ways that you can try for negative brainstorming. So to put it simply, being aware of the problems that could go wrong is as important as planning to solve the problem. Another way to generate ideas is the mind mapping technique. Creating a mind map is really easy. You can use pen and paper or you can do it digitally. For digital mind maps, I use Taskade for mind mapping or a tool like MindNode or just Figma would do as well. And remember, the solution is just to generate an idea quickly. The next tip to generate ideas rapidly is to go on airplane mode. This means turning off all distractions, putting your phone away from you and just let your mind focus on the ideation process. Another way to generate rapid ideas is called Crazy 8s. As the name suggests, Crazy 8s is where you have 8 little grids on your notebook and on each grid, you have an idea. So if you have a paper, just fold it into 8 boxes, set a timer for 8 minutes and by the 8 minute mark, stop drawing. This is a way to encourage your brain to get to work immediately and to get those ideas flowing. If you think you need more than 8 minutes, feel free to extend the time, just have fun, enjoy the process and remember to not distract yourself halfway through. If you're on Figma, well, you just need 8 artboards and then you can start getting to work. Another tip is don't do it alone. If you are in a team, maybe ask the team together to do a design sprint or just get together and brainstorm as a group or even just jumping on a call, talking to them 15 minutes, brainstorm ideas or tell them what's on your mind would also be really helpful for you to generate ideas quickly. Talking to people will actually help you ideate faster. Another way is to socialize and listen. What you can do is you can leverage on the internet to help you get answers to your questions that in return gives you ideas. You can ask for a wider set of opinions both from people who use your product 
or those who haven't. If you have Instagram, you can just ask a poll or a question on Instagram. You can also search a question on Reddit, Quora or Google. Perhaps it would give you some ideas on how you could improve the app design or the website design. The next tip is to create an idea bank. Instead of relying on memory or inspiration to strike, every time you have an idea, document them somewhere so you'll have a running list of ideas that you can come back in future. Some tools that you can use for your idea bank includes Notion, Airtable, Google Sheets, Google Documents, Apple Notes, or Figma. And lastly, I hope that you can find inspiration in uncommon places. Do things that you haven't done before, go to places that you haven't been to before. Quoting Thomas Jefferson, you must be willing to do something that you've never done before in order to get something you have never had. So that's it. Instead of waiting for inspiration to strike, the best way is to actually do the work. If you have any other ideas that I missed out in this video, feel free to share with everyone in the comments below. I hope this video is helpful to you and in times when you're in a creative rut, come back to this video and try one of these tips. I'll see you in the next video.